Hello, it's Saturday morning. I'm still in bed and my boyfriend is coming up with baked things out of the oven. I had some of those frozen croissants left from Iceland, so he's been on croissant duty and he's brought me coffee up as well, which I'm working my way through currently. Excellent start to the day. We're going out today. We are going out to somebody's back garden, a private thing I probably can't film, but it's a getting together playing tunes kind of. Thing. Isabel is back from her gallivantation. Now she was supposed to go to a gig at Cardiff Uni last night with some friends and they'd booked it ages and ages and ages and ages ago. I've got a feeling it might have been postponed or something, I don't know, I'm not sure. It turned out they couldn't go because unbeknownst to probably the vast majority of people that were going, they had to be double jabbed and have done a lateral flow test and recorded it 24 hours before the gig. Anyway, so I don't know what happened with that gig if like loads and loads of people got turned away at the door. <laughs> anyway, they went to the cinema instead in Cardiff, I think, and had a meal and had a very enjoyable night. They watched some Marvel movie. But anyway, she's fast asleep now because she didn't get in until late. She's staying at home today. She's not coming with us to the garden gathering. Oh, it's here. Well, thank you, love. It's all right, my darling. Oh, I aim to please. You succeed. We're on our way to my boyfriend's house now. We're going to get there a bit earlier than we need to leave so we can both fit a shower in each and have some lunch. I'm at my boyfriend's house. This is his apple tree and look, what's wrong with this apple tree? Um, hello, it is coming to autumn. And where are the apples? Something is going wrong. There are a couple. There's like the odd one, which I'm going to harvest now because he's not really interested in having them, but my mum and dad will like those apples. So I'm going to pick some for them now. Why is it not bearing very much fruit at all? This particular low-hanging branch has got quite a few darted around on there. I've just spotted he's got some hops growing up there as well. Oh, lovely. One more apple. Mm, that's not that big. Oh, I'm going to pick it anyway. I hope it's ripe. I mean, they need cooking anyway, don't they, these ones? They, these are cookers. These are not eating apples. There they are. That'll do the two of them. They're not big eaters. They've got a little bunch of runner beans each as well to go with that. It's got pears on it. I'm putting apples in there. <laughs> oh, they're getting some free bits of grass as well. It's coming up to about half past 12 now. IB is going to have a shower and I'm going to reheat the dinner that I've brought with us to have for lunch. By the way, my dad's coming here in a while, in about an hour, he's gonna come with us to the session. Lunch is going to be this, which I brought from home. So this was the filling that I did for the pastries last night, but I made way too much of it. But that's kind of handy because now we have all this to eat. So it's a sort of beanie jollop with some buds left over, but also left over from our camping trip, which I had stored in my cellar. There's this fiery rice. I wonder how many portions that is. I reckon that's nearly done. There's rice in there. Yay, that looks nice. It smells good, actually. I think I'm going to enjoy that. I am now showered and back in my clean clothes that I put on this morning. Dad's here now. He's just gone down to the bottom of the garden with my boyfriend to look at the apple trees and see what on earth is going on with them. He's a bit of a dendrologist, my dad is. Dad says that fruit trees have good years and bad years. That's the non-scientific explanation, but probably a very true one, I would expect. Beech trees, they call them mast years when they have a bumper crop. Oh yeah, beech trees. Oh, I used to eat loads of those, but I got a feeling they're toxic, but they yeah. didn't actually kill me. Yeah, they are mast. We're all having a cup of tea together in IB's lean-to thingy before setting off. We are on our way to the session and uh, it's 21, no, it's not 21 degrees. How warm is it? Because we've had the oh, air con on. Well, that is out. It's 21 degrees. There we are. Hopefully we won't freeze. There's a castle. It's a tower. What, what's that? Remnant. Oh. Ooh. Ancient remnant. There's an ancient remnant. Yeah, there's an remnant of uh, bygone era. I thought it sounded bizarre that I could remember the kind of spelling of half of the last, <laughs> last half of the world. <laughs> Interesting looking building there as well. Yes, right, yeah. uh, that topiary there. Top 
Topiary. Yeah, Topiary. Right. We're coming up to a rather nice old river bridge. No tolls this time. The bridge end. Oh yes, I think I know why that got that name. It's Children have been serving us. Oh, oh, Bee's place now and then I'm gonna go back to my place with my dad yes. it's about five past nine now I am finally home I've been home a while actually so dad went home via my place to drop me off and he came in for a cup of tea and Isabel said granddad can I have my injection now and then I'll come home with you save me traveling on public transport tomorrow so off she went so she's gone and I'm not gonna see her till the end of next week Okay, so it's just me again, but that's okay. I've totally worn myself out today. I forget how tiring it is playing the flute in the fresh air for hours on end. I did have a really enjoyable day though, but thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like the video, could you please give it a thumbs up because it really helps to grow the channel. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.